Hi there, Lloyd Macedo. Speaking to you from LloydMacedo.com. Who's Lloyd Macedo and Think Personal Branding? The date is um, 7th August 2018. Time right now is uh, 5.56. 17.56. Oh, 5.56. All right. I'm going to share with you something that is pretty, I don't know, maybe you'd consider it controversial, rude, cold-blooded or whatever. But today I did something very cruel to my baby. Something really very cruel. And what was that? Uh, when my baby started to cry, uh, I just come from the from shopping, and as soon as I entered her home, I saw my wife's face, and I could visibly make out that she was very irritated because obviously uh, the baby was crying. The baby was crying pretty much, and she was holding her head like this. And so I asked her what happened. She was she didn't answer. She was almost going to like cry, and I said I understood that. You know, taking care of the baby became a bit too much for her. So, and, you know, you need to understand that sometimes the baby cries so much, you feel like just killing the baby. Die! I'm going to kill you. <laughs> so, at least that is what, uh, you know, a normal person does feel. Uh, given the fact that I'm not taking care of the baby, my wife is, I know that sometimes it's a bit too much because she's only sleeping one hour uh, in the night and every time the baby keeps waking up. So when I came home, my wife, she was holding her head in this way and she was almost going to like break down. I understood that it was becoming a bit too much and the baby was crying. So then my wife looking at me got a little afraid. She thought that I was going to tell her, take care of the baby. So she said, I'll take it. I said, no, wait, stop. So um, I told her, just allow me to take care of the baby. She said, okay. So she went, I told her to make herself a cup of tea, a coffee, whatever. So she went there, she was just preparing. And I went near the baby and I let the baby cry. I'm not joking. I, may, I let the baby cry. And I let the baby cry nonstop. And the baby was really crying. I'll tell you that. The baby was really crying. It's like ah, shouting, screaming and all that. I let the baby cry. Went on for one minute, three minutes, five minutes. Seven minutes, ten minutes. I just kept watching. My wife kept wondering, like, wow, well, baby is going to die and this and that. I said, don't worry, nothing is going to happen. Nothing is going to happen. There's no baby in this world who died by crying. Okay. I know that there are articles that say cortisol, stress hormone is going to be released. The babies grow up being abnormal and this and that and all that bullshit. Okay, whatever. So, baby cried. Went on, I think, for nearly... 10 minutes or 12 minutes, somewhere at the 15th minute, and I was paying attention to the baby, and I'll tell you, the baby cried so much that the baby actually broke out a sweat. Really, I'm not exaggerating. The baby actually was sweating. I, I kept paying attention to the baby. The baby was sweating. Finally, at some point, 12th or 13th or 14th minute, the baby stopped crying. Just stopped. I was paying attention to the baby. Stopped crying. I started wiping the sweat because the baby, it was more like a workout because oxygen, there's a lot of oxygen being taken, a lot of carbon dioxide being exhaled. And the baby finally started getting drowsy and went off to sleep. Then I told my wife, okay, so what, what did you plan for the baby? She told me that she had planned for the baby to have a bath and then give the baby milk so okay breast milk so she went give the baby a bath okay in warm water which she normally does and finally she lay beside the baby to give breast milk but instead of that the baby fell off to sleep just went off to sleep now i know that this looks very cruel may allowing a baby to cry but I wanted my baby to cry because when it cries, you know, it'll get tired. And sometimes it's necessary for the baby to get tired because if the baby doesn't get tired, you know, it'll keep crying. And if you give the baby the signal that every time you cry, I'm going to pick you up. Every time you cry, I'm going to be there. That would be intertwined in the baby's psyche and it would just keep crying to be carried or to be lifted. So this time I broke the pattern and told the baby you cry. 
Baby got tired, went to sleep. Now the baby will get up, obviously will cry, but we'll make sure we give it milk, we'll take care. It's not that I'm abusing the baby or ignoring the baby, but sometimes the baby does need to cry. Sometimes the baby does need to get tired. Because, you know, parenting is, I'll tell you, I'm, I'm not being a parent who is being there for the baby, but my wife is. She's 24 seven next to the baby. She is a wonderful mother. She's doing her best. She doesn't sleep at night. She doesn't do anything. Sometimes it's not humanly possible for the person. Now I know you'd say, what about you and all that? I'm sorry, but my stuff is online. My stuff is business. My stuff is money. I'm not one of those patient fathers who can clean the poop and this and that. And not my department, sorry. Um, but like I was saying, so sometimes it's necessary for the baby to go through discomfort, for the baby to be exposed to germs, for the baby to be exposed to the harsh elements of heat, rain, whatever. That's how the baby will be strong. At least that's my theory and that's what I'm planning to do to make sure that my baby is exposed to the elements from germs to the heat, the rain, the wind, discomfort. So the baby ends up being strong because, hear me out, there are a lot of children out there who don't have an air conditioner, who don't have a fan, who sleep on the ground, who don't have the luxury that most uh, rich people, you know, pamper their child with, you know, toys and this and that. They go through a very tough life. Some of the children sleep on the floor, on the ground, on the earth. They have to bear the sun. What about the children in Somalia, in Africa, even in Thailand? And if you check the forests. So I want my baby to be tough. By being exposed to the bacteria or the germs, eventually the baby will get strong. So I'm not planning to protect my baby and keep it like germ-free and this free. Let the immune system go strong. Let the baby have the capacity to take discomfort and that's how the baby will be strong. And that's why I choose, that's why I choose for my baby to suffer because through the suffering, the baby will become strong. So I know that makes me very cruel, but uh, this is how life is because tomorrow if I die, if something happens to me and uh, my wife anyway can't earn big money. They will earn small peanuts and they go back to the village. She has to work in the sun. Baby has to sleep on the floor, eat just sticky rice, maybe some leaves from the forest. I want my baby to feel, ah, this is just like. However, if that day never comes, well, she'll know that she has all what it takes to survive, sustain, and thrive in the real world. So, live from RyanMasida.com. Who's Ryan Masida and think awesome, Ryan? Sharing with you his views. Let me know what you think in the comment section below because I always read it. Like the video, give it a thumbs up. Don't like it, thumbs down. And uh, remember, for all services, go to think possible branding. This is me signing off and out. Take care. Bye.